नमस्कार नान शर्मिता शेटी न्यूज एटीन कन्ड दल किच्चा सुदीप एक्सक्लूसिव आगे मत नाड़ी दारे बहाला दिन कड़ी इंदा चर्चिता विषय आदु निम्न के ऑलरेडी उन हिंट से किरते या विषय बगे ना मत आरती दीवेंता किच्चा सुदीप एक्सक्लूसिव आगे न्यूज एटीन बढ़ियाली आ विषय गड़ा बगे विचार द बगे मत नाड़ी � हिंदी राष्ट्र भाषे अंता अजय देवगन हेली दके ट्विटर नले समझाईशेन न कोटे दूँ किच्चा सुधी साक्षत जना केवला नम्र राज्य दाउर मात्रा आला बेर बेरे राज्य दाउर कुडा किच्चा सुधी पाउ रिप्लेन नोडी शहबास गिरियन न कोटे दूँ हाँ गदरे कन्नड़ा भाषे बगे सुधी ये नहली दारे स्टार गड़ा मध्य दली पैन इंडिया सिनेमा अंतर बंदा का केवल बॉलीवुड मात्रा ना दूसरी मिता इन तब विषय को इगा चर्चे आता है लेकिन रे साउथ इंडिया कन्नड़ा सेरी दंते साउथ इंडिया दा साक्ष सिनेमा गलो बॉलीवुड डल्लू कोड़ा कोटी कोटी बाज़ ताय दे ये बग्गे बॉलीवुड बंदी के जेलस सिदे हाँगागी साउथ सिनेमा मंद इनु कन्नड़ा सेरी दंते दक्षिण भाषिक लग बगे सुदीप ओपिनियन ये नु इनु हिंदी बगे स्पेशली सिनुवा दुड्डमट्ट दली मारता है जितु हिंदे बॉलीवुड मंदी अंता उन माती तो अगरे साउथ सिनुवा इंडस्ट्री आउ रूई का बॉलीवुड नो मीर सोन ता लेवल सिनुवा गलन मारता है दारे सो ये लग रू बगे नु किच्चा किच्चा सुदीप माता डिडारे हिंदी हेरी के बगे भाषिकल बगे स्पेशली कन्नड़ा भाषे पैन इंडिया सिनेमा ये लग रूप बगे नो कुड़ा सुदीर के बग माता डिडारे सो नमः सीएनएन एंकर आनंद नरसिंहन नवरु सुदीप और माता डिसी डारे नो सुदीप हाउ डू यू सी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स कमेंट टुडे हिज मैसेज टू द पार्टी एंड ऑफ no, it's 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 a it's a what do you say? Very welcoming line, and uh, it's a bliss to hear it from him. And yeah, it is true. It is true. And uh, it was just long due that before somebody as the uh, Gilsim says a line like that, and I guess it was it's very welcoming, very warm. The the other thing is, I think the Prime Minister himself, being a Gujarati, has endeavoured to speak in the local tongue wherever he's gone across the country. And uh, uh, he has some. He's somebody who's also recognized Tamil as the oldest language. He's recognized the depth and the wealth that a lot of the South Indian languages, including Kannada, have. Uh, do you, Do you believe that somewhere uh, this respect is also a two-way street? That when there are two, a lot of South Indians who learn to speak Hindi, we need to see north of the Vindhyas also responding to those who are south of the Vindhyas. Just a perception. I just really, I just feel that you know that uh, there shouldn't be any kind of imposing. You know, there shouldn't be an imposed thoughts. Mm. You, have, you have your liberties, you have your ideas, ideologies. I guess we, can, we need to stick to that. And uh, if we have learned a certain other languages, that doesn't mean that uh, everybody should learn every other language. So we need to communicate by the end of the day. So we need something. Yeah, mm. so because of which, and also it is not just, just that, you know, I guess at least me, if you ask me, uh, I had my own reasons to learn because I was a fan of you people and your songs and I needed to understand. So. It just happened. Okay, so I guess uh, some th these uh, uh, imposing of thoughts was not something which was uh, uh, required. But that does, again doesn't mean that we were not collaborating as an industry. Uh, from the cinema, if you're asking me, I think we were always collaborating among uh, everyone. Mm. All the industries were collaborating. It. See, these debates were not from the industry. This is from the other sides. And I guess uh, when we spoke, when I spoke about it on a stage, it was it is in context to something else. Mm. Uh, that only South Indian films, when we are dubbing into other languages, were considered as pan India, and uh, they were trying to. Uh, each one were thinking that just because we are concentrating on Hindi, it is called pan India. Mm. So it is not like that. We are pan Indians. Even if I am trying to come from Karnataka minus Hindi, also if I am going to Bhojpuri, Marathi, it's still called pan India. And yeah. the Hindi film coming out in South Indian language is also a pan Indian, but they don't mm. use those terms there. Mm. It's just taken for granted that it is uh, only us. So that was the only context. And I guess that was not going down well. 
Mm. But apart from that, I don't think uh, we as a cinema from our fraternities have any issues of that sort. Mm. But but do you also feel that uh, the rise of the South has happened now in the recent past with a lot of the South movies are uh, doing very well and and somewhere also breaking the language barriers that you don't actually need to uh, you know dub them in a different language. People are consuming uh, product or in the, when they say uh, work from the South. as it is yeah it is true but the south is getting its due now <clears throat> no i think uh, people who deserve are getting their due i don't think it's got anything to do with south and north here sir mm-hmm. uh, that is wrong for us at least i wouldn't want to think that way see uh, now if you say that uh, south finally is getting its due no it's not like there there were was a battle of that sort see mm-hmm. who was who does well uh, will get get its due it's just that uh, there was no platform from so couple of years now i think uh, uh, it is just so happened that you know every pe- people are willing to watch other languages they're welcoming the dubbing they're welcoming everything into the theaters it was only stuck to satellites for a couple of years till a couple of years back now it's hitting the theaters so i guess it's just the reach has uh, is different people's insight to say, into cinema is different mm-hmm. and approach is different so that's all it is it was a matter of time that things changed it's got nothing to do with uh, just because our films are doing well couple of our films are doing not all films are doing well again yeah it's yeah. it's the it's, it's good films that's doing well and i guess uh, because of that uh, looking the, uh, down on uh, certain other industries is not right no, no but, guess, but, you know. but but was the south film industry looked down upon at a point in time there have been voices from the telugu film industry from other uh, voices and i think you know a lot of those people also who have said that in the past they've had to bear the brunt of uh, representing the south of india when they went to the hindi film industry there are many in the hindi film industry who don't like the name bollywood <laughs> but but i'm just telling you i'm asking you well you uh, to a certain extent uh, i would say uh, the these kind of uh, uh, differences or discriminations do not come from within the industry okay it is from probably platforms created like for example uh, if you take an award ceremony you know mm. uh, they have one uh, for hindi then all south put together they have from the same uh, domain from the same domain they have one mm. so yeah the discriminations come from there you know apart from that there's uh, i wouldn't say that industry per se mm. so these things keep happening i guess it's just the third party who's been making everybody feel that way i guess you know it's it's a uh, uh, time that people realize then i guess you know why can't you have uh, award ceremonies for all languages put together and one good cinema one good hero so they just put one hindi separate and south separate i guess you know that 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 is what is happening and uh, that makes you you know that is a, that is where the split is coming up from yeah and that's where the wedges happen because then the perception is that this is one group and that everything is together as another entity and you're saying that this is not from within the industry but those who've seen the industry yeah. or try to yeah for uh, yeah for example uh, if you take a national uh, national awards or anything so they collaborate right i mean they they <laughs> they they see every language under one domain and they give you the award yeah yeah uh, so what happens when a, when a film fair award happens or anything of that sort you know they, there's always a two batches correct so i was i'm still not able to understand that i wouldn't say i i don't want to judge whether they're right wrong or whatever but there's always a two parts one part is there and one part is all of the things put together so this is where it's all starting from i don't think but today also when we meet the hindi people or they meet us or we meet telugu tamil i don't think we have such problems with even we always i i think we only carry respect and love towards each other cinema we learn from each other cinema Mm. I guess we always are cordial. We meet with a smile only. We don't uh, meet with a so, and we don't have a problem when uh, if the other actor or a director or a producer doesn't know a language, we try to communicate through our their language, or probably we speak a third language altogether, as long as Correct. we know that what we are trying to communicate is communicated. Correct. But, so, so let me come to that point where we say that we have one which is our mother tongue, which is our mother tongue. Then the other one is uh, what. everybody would say is the lingua franca or the language where you would connect communicate with somebody else from the same country and you know would be common language of communication there is a thought process which says that that should be a bharatiya language or an indian language and it should not be english because along with english comes a certain you know uh, colonial mindset which does not which actually moves us away from what is our sabhyata our sanskriti so they say that let's look at a a bhasha which is hindustani not necessarily hindi but hindi with a you know uh, addition of a lot of other 
Indian languages and a language which becomes our lingua franca. What's your thought process? So I guess uh, we all have accepted what it is, and we all have uh, you know uh, developed a certain uh, 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 style of living, and that in, that includes the language also. We just know we are speaking. You know, from here and from here, we are we are all belonging to the same country. Okay, that cannot change. And mm-hmm. from there, when I say mother tongue, as uh, how you put across in a question, yes, that is my language. We are thinking also is in that language. Mm-hmm. You know, it comes. It's it's natural. Now, uh, the debate of what you're trying to say is just a debate, sir. As in, like you know, and who's raising these debates? Who mm-hmm. are those people who are raising this, these debates? That mm-hmm. we need this, we need that. But if you actually ask a local person out there, I think each one is trying to sort out their lives. There are mm-hmm. there are plenty of other issues for the survival and for the betterment of the country. This is just a small topic. All country, all the citizens in this, in this uh, country are communicating very well what they want to. All right, so I guess uh, it is not within us. These topics are coming from where other uh, uh, domains I, for their mm-hmm. own purposes and reasons, not us. No, because this is what our founding fathers also envisaged. The likes of Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore also realized that we as a nation needed to have one language which would link us all. Because the concept of nationhood arrives and you come to it when you speak one language with which you can communicate with everybody. Now, English was one of the official languages and the other one was Hindi or Hindustani, not even pure Hindi, Hindustani. Yeah. And Mahatma Gandhi was a Gujarati and Rabindranath Tagore was a Bengali. With no disrespect to individual languages, they thought that a language which will assimilate all of us together has to be our own language from this country, not something which has been left behind by the colonizers. So that's where the thought process came and it was discussed in the 50s, 60s, 70s. And then, of course, you know what happened in Tamil Nadu and politics with two languages. And that's been now, that's playing out in Karnataka also now saying Kannada and English only, no Hindi. So this resistance is also happening. So that is the larger philosophy which says that if I have to be able to communicate with a fellow Indian from another state, another region, should I look at a foreign language or should I have an Indian language which connects us all? That's the larger thought process. So it's not, I'm, I'm not even getting into politics. It's a larger civilizational nationhood question. We both are communicating in English yeah. right now. I guess uh, <laughs> this, this answers it. Point the added here. Uh, and I guess, uh, you know, your, your question has all the answers needed. There's nothing for me to speak on this particular topic because mm. I guess um, uh, whatever the whole nation see, like for example, today when the Prime Minister makes a line, we welcome it. I think uh, if it, everybody knows what they want and they have the rights to choose what they want. But again, uh, this, these small, small things have come only when uh, we have everybody, you know, it's just not us, have found a little threat coming towards their particular language. Yeah. See, uh, we all can coexist, right? We all, everything can be respected. Everything can coexist. And I think whatever has to, if there is a nation decides, okay, there has to be one neutral thing, it is going to be that. But that doesn't take you away uh, from your own language and uh, uh, fighting or probably for your, uh, if, if, if when the respect thing comes. So I guess only for me, only one thing I, I strongly believe is we, we shouldn't impose something. Okay. Impose, hmm. uh, even an idea, even see when you're sitting in, in, in for a, well, if five of you as a family go out or go to a hotel, see five of you will order five different things maybe. Yeah. Some of you may share certain things. You can't impose, like, you know, you've Correct. got to eat this, you've got to eat that. Got I guess uh, we are all we are all born and I guess we will learn how to lead our life and we will learn how to speak as well. No, I agree with you. It cannot be imposed because it's a two-way street. So when I meet a Kitcha Sudeep and I say, Namaskara, Chana, Gidra, Kitcha, then you will turn around and perhaps also turn around and say, Namaste, Aap kaise hai? So that, that's, it's because you, you realize that somebody is respecting your language and trying to understand your culture and where you come from. You know, you you know the, 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 the first of all, the respect and love is understood by the way you are looking at me, sir. I think yeah. uh, uh, the moment you say that, whether you speak even in a Japanese, I know that you're trying to say something nice to me. <laughs> you know, so I, I guess I guess it all boils down to the fact that, you know, when, when people smile at you, you only know to smile at them. When okay. people say I love you, you'll only say I love you too. And when people get angry, first time we will ignore and second second time around, I guess, you know, we will also try and tell you it's not okay. Correct. You know, so do you tell me, why will you be uh, angry or harsh with somebody who respects you? I, I, I hope you got my point. You know, when people are nice and people are cordial, 
it's okay, sir. Even if you don't understand our languages, no, trust me, you speak your own language, I speak my own language. I, I'm still sure we can still have a conversation or at least Correct. 10 minutes and try to understand what we are. You know, Absolutely. I think uh, we, are, we, are all, we are all very strong from here, all, all the people. I guess uh, we know how to deal with situations, how to communicate. Even if there is no language, we still know how to communicate. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I totally agree with you because uh, when you show the effort and the other person understands the effort, then automatically yeah. it becomes easy. It is true. My yeah. final question, you, you think we should learn to speak more of our own languages. We, we all must make an effort to try and speak a little more. Some, I think, see, effort is something, it's a personality. Effort is a personality. Again, it cannot be taught. Like, for example, even if it's inside your own platform, your own uh, work, your own life, I think it's your own effort, sir. Nobody can teach you to put effort. And if it's uh, if without efforts, I don't think we'll go anywhere. Just forget what we are talking, the topic. Effort is a personality to me. I guess, you know, that cannot be taught. And I think now, Namma Bhasheli, Mata Adadu Nakali Vekona, now Namma Pratna Karna Hakpe Kyorku, Innu Bar Balonta Dali Nau Dana Kariyodu Kagodil. Very well said. Absolutely. That we should speak our language, but never impose what we want to speak on somebody else. So, sorry, uh, now I'm trying to say, sir, I'll be very proud of and very happy in, with my mother and father, sir. Correct. How can I tell my neighbor, only be proud of my mother and my father and not yours? Correct. 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 Very, 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 so very, very what, well said. What, what do I do if I go to my neighbor's house and I see two elderly people standing there? I will not think whether it is his parents. I will fall at their feet and take a blessing still, right? Correct. That's without, awesome losing my, without losing my effort and my dignity and my things. But I guess it's, it's just here. Everything is right here. Oh, very, very well said, Kichaswati. And uh, always a pleasure speaking with people like you. And you must speak a little more often. And it's good. And we no, must sir. connect more. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I speak well because I speak less. <laughs> 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 lovely, lovely speaking with you, Kitchen. Thank, Thank you so much. Namaskar. Take care, sir. God bless. Now, our special project uh, managing editor Anand Narasimhan or Sudhir Gwagi Sudhir Parotra Matar Tai Dhruva Time Dalau Reheli Do. This cinema, language bage Matar na Adun Pitputu Hindi Matra Bollywood Matra Pan India cinema Anta Yak Pade Pade Karas Kodbe Ko Iga South Languages Kodo Kuda A Bollywood Nali Kamal Marta Ida Koti Koti Hana Marta Ida Inta Time Nali Hindi Oru Bekare Bere Language Nali Dub Marli Avag Nau Adun A Pan India Anta Accept Mar Koti Be Iga Nam Cinema Kala Kuda Iga Bere Language Nali Dub Bada Ga Adun A Pan India Anta Kari Li Opkola Manasiti Be Ko Anta Dhruva Innu Sakas Vishad Bage Sudhi Pata Di Dare Toru Sivi Chikko Dun Dun Break Adma Ga Welcome back, News 18 जोते सुधीप exclusive मातन तोरुस्ताइद वी हिंदी मात्राने पैन इंडिया भाष्य अल्ला कनेडा सेरी यल्ला भाष्य कड़ू सन्न सन्न भाष्य आदरू परवागी इल्ला वेल्लवू पैन इंडिया भाष्य कड़े भाषा तार तम्यद बगे किच्चा सुधीप बेसर बेरे भाषे कलियोद तप्पल्ला, अदु communication purpose कोसकर बेक आगत्ते, बट इतरा तारतम्य माड़तार अला, इदु तप्पु, अन्नोदु सुधी पातु. The other thing is, I think the Prime Minister himself, being a Gujarati, has endeavoured to speak in the local tongue wherever he's gone across the country. And he has some, he's somebody who's also recognized Tamil as the oldest language. He's recognized the depth and the wealth that a lot of the South Indian languages, including Kannada, have. Do you believe that somewhere this respect is also a two-way street? That when there are a lot of South Indians who learn to speak Hindi, we need to see north of the Vindhyas also responding to those who are south of the Vindhyas. It's just a perception. I just feel that, you know, that there shouldn't be any kind of imposing you know, there shouldn't be an impose of thoughts. Mm. You, have, you have your liberties, you have your ideas, ideologies. I guess we, can, we need to stick to that. And uh, if we have learned a certain other languages, that doesn't mean that uh, everybody should learn every other language. So we need to communicate by the end of the day. So we need something. Yeah, mm. so because of which, and also it is not just, just that, you know, I guess at least me, if you ask me, uh, I had my own reasons to learn because I was a fan of you people and your songs and I needed to understand. So... It just happened. Okay, so I guess uh, some th these uh, uh, imposing of thoughts was not something which was uh, uh, required. But that does, again doesn't mean that we were not collaborating as an industry. Uh, from the cinema, if you're asking me, I think we were always collaborating among uh, 
everyone, mm. uh, all the industries are collaborating. And see, these debates were not from the industry. This is from the other sides. And I guess uh, when we spoke, when I spoke about it on a stage, it was it is in context of something else. Mm. Uh, that only South Indian films, when we are dubbing into other languages, were considered as pan India and. Uh, they were trying to, uh, each one were thinking that just because we're concentrating on Hindi, it is called Pan-India. Mm. So it is not like that. We are Pan-Indias, even if I'm trying to come from Karnataka, minus Hindi also, if I'm going to Bhojpuri, Marathi, it's still called Pan-India. And yeah. the Hindi film coming out in South Indian language is also a Pan-Indian film, but they don't mm. use those terms there. Mm. It's just taken for granted that it is uh, only us. So that was the only context, and I guess that was not going down well. Hmm. But apart from that, I don't think uh, we as a uh, cinema from our fraternities have any issues of such. This is News 18 Chateli Kicha Sudip exclusive Matu. Notari News 18 Kannada Jala Namadu Bala Mimadu.